Okay, now we explain the three chamber system. The collection chamber here, this is the patient, the tube, the chest tube connected to the collection department that collect air or blood, whatever. And then as we said, the air will go to the water seal chamber and the, the has two centimeter water and then there is the external suction chambers that are connected to the water seal chamber and it has the 20 centimeter of each of water as a safety mechanism that will guarantee us no more than 20 centimeter of negative suction applied this is the old system you will not see it anymore in the hospital you will see the single drainage system and i'll get you a picture pretty soon but you will see something like this and um, uh, you will see numbers here with milliliters so these three columns here are correspond to the collection chamber this is where the patient is connected right here any blood anything will fill the first column then we'll go to the next column then we'll go to this third column now the air will come here the air bubble we'll get this is the water seal chamber so the air will be absorbed here and can be suctioned through this this is the external suction and this is the 20 centimeter of water as we see here so this is basically we combine all of this in one chamber let me do this probably you've seen this in the hospital this is exactly a three chamber system it's just we just explained that it's included in one single drainage system these are the collection this is the collection chamber and these are the numbers see 100 milli 200 mil 300 mil and what nurses marks it here they don't empty it so they mark today at this time we have 100 cc and then so they can measure the daily output instead of the total output this is the total output if this fill will come here now the air will come right here this is the water seal it's hidden the water seal so the air will come right here in the water and then the water will exit from here uh, sorry the air can exit from here and go through B into the external suction right and you wonder where is the 20 centimeter so the 20 centimeter chamber is right here and you see it's 20 here and the water is right here hidden by this black marking but the water is hidden exactly like the water seal here you see this but the water seal is hidden right here but again the 20 centimeter of water are right here you see this is the suction also can be manually changed from uh, a uh, something here at the back of the uh, this drainage system but again and this it corresponds to this and this is the external suction as we said whatever external suction it will provide only whatever is here so we have that mechanism of protection mechanism now if the air is coming and leaking still you will see bubbles here that means there is air going but the air will not go back into the patients and this one here the orange things here that indicate there is suction if the suction turned not functioning or turned off it will move this direction you won't see it here and this is the water seal as well this going go up and down with inspiration respiration sometimes but this is collection this is water seal and this is the negative suction that's connected here chamber so the three chambers connected into one you see this is a type of chest drain that c5k heparin this is designed to be used for cell saver uh, let me change maybe the colors to 
you can read it better sell saver which means they collect the blood put it in the cell saver machine and transfuse it back to the same patient so the patient getting his own blood transfusion that's something we'll talk about it later on but this is the collection right here this is the water seal heading by this black uh, painting and this is the negative pressure suction again the management of this is mainly taken care of by nurses but we'll talk about what do we things that we need to look when we taking care of patients with chest tube soon actually next video so now hopefully it makes sense when you go and see this drainage system and you understand exactly how do they function and what each part function is thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board